Hi there guys, it's Lexi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry I'm kind of in your face, don't mean to be, and I'm sorry for the not 1080p using the front of my iPhone, don't want to use the back because no mirror or good lighting or anything of that sort. So, um, I just wanted this to be kind of a quicker video if possible. Um, a lot of people are starting to share their like school experiences and like high school experiences and you know kind of how they felt about high school and like what it did for them and if they wanted to continue or whatever so I thought I would just like put in my two cents of how high school went for me because a lot of people have different opinions about it and most people I've noticed don't like their high school experience and I have to say I disagree. Um, and the only thing I would agree with, um, I think honestly is the part about how I think like a lot of the teachers are kind of toxic, like they want you to do better, yeah, but I feel like a lot of them are more in it for themselves and not for the students. And I think that's just America in general as a problem, but, um, I personally think it could be changed and, um... I don't know, other than that, guys, like, besides the food and, like, the obvious what-the-hell type of deals, like, I don't really have anything wrong with high school. I've had met all of my friends in high school. I have a lot of close teachers. Like, obviously, there's those percent of teachers that, like, aren't very great or supportive or helpful or anything of the sort. But, um, there are those random teachers that A, helped you, and B, were there for you and supporting you till the end. And I've had a few of teachers like that, so all I know is that I can't really say that I had a shitty experience um, in high school because being 21 now, I look back at it and honestly, I wish I could go back and do it again. Like, I probably wouldn't enjoy like all the same classes or whatever but I mean I feel like if I had a chance to go to high school again I would take it just to meet friends or even to just get a second experience I guess in general um I know a lot of people went to really bad high schools and just had a really shitty experience and couldn't find friends or anyone that connected with them and I gotta say I wasn't popular in high school but I sure as hell wasn't like unpopular. I definitely had friends and I definitely knew where I was going and I knew what classes I wanted to take and I knew like the kind of people I wanted to be with or hang out with or be around in general. I really, really picked my teachers, like, when it came to, um, I don't know, like, favorites, I guess. Like, I really, really wanted to have all of my teachers close to me. And, like, the way I did that is, like, I would stay after class and just, like, talk to them and, like, see if they're actually there to, like, help me or if they're there for their own benefit. And honestly, I learned that some people are and some aren't. And a lot of the teachers are there to actually help you. And I just don't really see anything wrong with high school. Like, I know so many of my friends despise it. All of them want to leave. A lot of my friends are still in school. They all hate it and want to drop out. I just don't get it. Like, I'm not saying it was a great experience. Obviously, I've had, like panic attacks and like trauma there but like doesn't everybody like is that just me or like I don't know I just feel like I never had a bad experience that wasn't like a normal high school experience if that makes sense like everyone else has like these crazy insane stories and I'm just sitting here like man, I just went to class. Like, I didn't even skip classes. I've never skipped a class in my life. And the one time I did, um, my grandma actually was like, yeah, 
so I forgot to tell your school and so we're gonna just go to the doctor anyway and we're just not gonna tell your school so that's my one skipping class <laughs> time so obviously it wasn't like a bad kid like I'm not gonna say it was perfect and I didn't leave for lunch and like go and smoke and stuff, but I don't know. I obviously didn't get in trouble. I've never got a detention, never skipped class, never missed class, never was absent for a long time. You know, I just feel like people are over exaggerating and school isn't as bad as you freaking think it is. I think you just need to like be stronger of a person and I'm not saying like you guys suck and you need to just try harder like it's not like that school's fucking hard and um that's why i'm not in college mind you but just because you like don't want to go to college doesn't mean you had a bad experience like i've always had a good experience in high school i've never had like an actual problem in high school other than maybe some drama with friends i think that was the extent of my problems in high school and I just feel like people take it too hard. They take the homework too hard. They take everything so to heart. And it's like, you guys, just get through it. Like, it's an, I'm not saying it's an easy. Like, I'm not telling you guys that it's easy to get through high school. But I'm going to tell you right now, I was about to fail. I was, like about to fail like drop out like she was like yeah your other option is to drop out of high school and finish at CVTC so that's what I did and um I got my diploma for Memorial which was the school I graduated at and so that was really cool the fact that they were even able to like let me graduate but keep in mind I didn't almost not graduate because I skipped or because I was a bad student it's because I don't know how to do math and that is the honest answer um literally math was the only thing holding me back I think I was passing every other class um I just you need math credits to graduate and I just couldn't get any like I could not get a single math credit for as how hard as I was trying I don't know I just my small bit of advice to everyone and anyone who wants to drop out of high school is dude when you're when you're 21 and you're looking back and you're thinking damn all my friends are still in high school i freaking wish i could go yeah it's gonna be a weird thought to you but then you're gonna think about it and you're gonna be like yeah actually maybe high school wasn't that bad maybe that is where i made friends maybe i did have a good teacher like I guarantee not all of your experiences are bad in high school and if you say that fine like I can't tell you you're wrong like maybe all your experiences are actual shit who knows but I mean you guys gotta I feel like people need to try before they complain or at least try harder like don't try to drop out because you can and because your teacher thinks that you have to like my teacher was like, no, you shouldn't drop out. I think you can do it. And guess what? We did it. The whole time I was like, yeah, I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna fail. She's like, no, you're not. Not with me. Like, she got me the fuck through it. And I just feel like if you guys find that one person, whether it be a teacher, it be a friend, it be a parent, doesn't really matter, to get you through the shit that you gotta do, whether it be extra work or go to a different class or just go to a completely different school and finish out there like I did, there are fucking options. You just have to pick them. And um, I'm not saying like you guys should drop out of high school and like finish via other school and get the diploma. I don't know. Just I'm just saying like there's there's people you can go to. There are teachers that do and will listen, you just have to find them. And if you don't randomly get them as your teachers, then that is why you ask your friends, say, hey, who's your favorite teacher and why do you like them and will they help me? And I guarantee there will be some person that is willing to help you. And if you're not willing to do it yourself, that is your fault, not the teacher's fault.
your high school experience is based off of how hard you try. Not how hard the teachers try to get you to try, because it's not about them. It's about you, and it's about how you need to get through high school. And if you're not putting in the steps, and the teachers are coming up to you and saying you need to do this and you need to do that, then that's kind of a reminder to you that you should probably, <laughs> like, at least get on top of your work. And I'm not trying to put anyone down by saying you guys need to do your homework, like, oh my god. I'm not one that did homework very often, but I still graduated, and I still got through it. And I bitched a lot, but here I am with the fucking diploma, happy as shit, so I can't really complain. And I can't really tell you that I had a bad experience or that no one helped me because I got nothing but help, actually. And I'm just here to inform you guys that not every school is bad. Not every school is unwilling to help or accept. I just... People complain too much about school. And it's honestly most of their faults for that. Because if you're complaining about your education, and your education is in your hands... I just, does that make sense, you guys? Like, is that just me? I feel like your education's in your hands, not your teacher's hands. I guess everyone else thinks it's up to the school. But in reality, bud, it's up to you. Like, if you want to graduate, you better try. And if no one's going to come up to you and be like, hey, you need to do this, maybe you should be going up to them and saying, hey, I need to do this. And I bet you someone's going to listen. I, I know that the teachers aren't there to just watch you fail. Like, they obviously at least kind of want you to not fuck up. So, I don't know. There's my two cents. I just want you guys to know that everyone has a different high school experience. Mine was great. You just need to find the right people, talk to the right teachers, really click with the right group. You know, like, don't hang out with the kids that are skipping constantly like I didn't skip but I hung out with all the kids that skipped and I was kind of actually looked down upon by my friends actually because of that because I would decline them I would be like no I have to go to Japanese after this and they're like oh, you can skip Japanese just just come to the dip with me and we'll just skip and I'm like I'd rather you know finish high school on time than skip so I guess I'm just glad that I did that but my advice is try even if you don't want to try because god I did not want to try and I will never go back to school and that probably might not be true but I feel like it is right now and um I don't know I just feel like just because you have a good experience doesn't mean you're ready for college because here I am telling you guys I had a great high school experience but I'm never going back to school like everyone has their own opinions but my point is try and my point is to tell people that you need to do what you gotta do and if no one's going to help you do it yourself because no one will help you that's just what I learned and I just thought it might be helpful because I have a lot of friends in school right now. And I just think y'all need to, y'all need to grind. And maybe stop skipping because I bet you that's fucking why you're missing homework assignments and you're not understanding what's happening is because you're not going to class. And I'm not sitting here telling you guys to, oh, you better go to class. Everyone will tell you to go to class, not just me, like... This is a friend from a friend, okay? Like, I'm not your teacher telling you what to do. I'm your friend telling you that if you want to graduate, you actually have to try. And I'm sorry to tell you guys that, but that's the reality of life. And I love you, and good luck, and stay in school.